Welcome back. 27 News First Mid-Morning on WKYT. She recently released a book titled Almost Amish, One Woman's Quest for a Slower, Simpler, More Sustainable Life. Nancy Sleeth is here with us today to discuss that book and her personal quest for living a simpler life. Thank you very much for coming in. It's a pleasure. Okay, what inspired you? Well, my husband and I go around the country talking about the quest for a simpler life. And on one of these talks, a man in the back of the room with his arms crossed, who had clearly his wife had dragged him there, said, what are you, Amish or something? <laughs> and I thought, well, no, I'm not Amish. I arrived in a Prius, not on a pony. But uh, maybe this is something I should explore more. So as Very people look into this, uh, what will they find in your book? Well, what we talk about is trade-offs, things that we can do to lead a simpler and slower life. One of the things I talk a lot about is technology. We are all hooked up 24-7. Aren't we? And yes. if there's a form of technology that is ruling you like a master rather than serving you like a tool, then think about taking a break, you know, a 48-hour break, a 40-day break, and see how that changes your relationships with family, friends, and God. What do people tell you? If they do that, if they follow your advice, what do they discover? What they discover is that that 24-7 leash is ruling them and that there are ways to set boundaries and limits, especially for our children. The average school-aged child spends six hours and 40 minutes in front of a screen every day and less than 30 minutes outside in unstructured play. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that changes the way our brains develop. And so what they see with their children is that there's, there's less obesity nationwide when we don't get hooked up to technology, there's less ADHD, there's other problems that are associated with this technology craze. Well, Nancy, tell us, what were some of the things you've changed in your life and in your family's life? Sure. Well, we live a very uncluttered life. So one thing is just to unclutter your homes. And I don't think you need to do it all at once. If you can clean out one drawer a week or if you can clean out one corner of your basement, then you will feel this liberation not being weighed down by the possessions. You don't want, you want to own things, but not let things own you. Did you always kind of have this philosophy of life, or did you really have a moment when you changed? Well, we did have a major life change. My husband used to be an emergency room doctor, and we were living the big emergency room doctor's family life. We had a big house, and we filled it with lots of beautiful things, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if those things become a burden, mm -hmm. then it's time to think of some ways that you can simplify your life. And you will find that you will have liberation. And uh, you and your husband also have started a, a nonprofit called Blessed Earth, right? Exactly. What, what does that do? Blessed Earth is a nonprofit based right here in Lexington. And we actually have nine employees now. And we go around the country working with seminaries and working with colleges and working with churches and talking about a simpler and more sustainable life. Exactly what you have in your book. Where is it available? This book is available at uh, Morris Bookshop. They did a great uh, launch for us, but it's also all the local bookstores and on Amazon. All right, from the fast lane to almost Amish, <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. Very interesting uh, Appreciate topic. Appreciate it. We do. We'll keep it right.